Hey guys, I am on my way to pick up my kids from preschool. It is December 17th, Christmas is getting close. Man, I'm really excited for the season, but I was thinking about something um, earlier today. I'm uh, online training, doing a um, uh, certification, another certification I like to do like one or two, whether it's a certification or like clinics or some kind of continuing education every year. Um, and so I really enjoy doing that stuff but it always gets my mind thinking and running like you know for me learning never ends and I'm constantly learning I'm constantly you know constantly thinking that I'm at my beginning stages um even though many people consider me you know expert in my field and when it comes to hitting and strength and conditioning and stuff and you know there's a lot of lot of people that do a phenomenal job in my fields um and I work my ass off and we get big time results um at Lair's training we always will whether it's me or my employees or you know, if I end up expanding and going to a couple different locations across Indiana, I'm always going to have that attitude of we're over delivering and we're better than everybody else. Um, I think every business has to have that mindset of that you're better than everyone. Um, but you have to walk the walk with that. You can't just talk the talk. And so I'm going to kind of give you guys a couple of stories right here. Um, a little accountability tip of the day. So instead of a toughness tip of the day, this is accountability tip of the day. And this is for the people that think they have everything figured out, think that they already know everything, or they are very pompous with their attitudes. And, and they think that um, just because they read an article one time, or just because they worked out in the past, or just because they played basketball or whatever, the, whatever it is, that they know the same amount of information and have the same knowledge and the same amount of um, tenacity a person uh, that actually is in the field and actually in the arena. That's why I like that quote from Teddy Roosevelt, man in the arena. If you don't know that, it's on my t-shirts. It's all over, you know, on my social media a lot of times. Um, but let me get, I'll get back to a story. So story one, I had this dad one time, this was years and years and years ago, um, that um, wrestled in college. And he said that we did periodization. What kind of periodization uh, do you guys do? And I started explaining to him what periodization is, the types of periodization, you know, with, with, with traditional linear periodization, conjugate type, uh, concurrent training, you know, undulating trading. There's so many different types of periodization. It was going over his head because he didn't understand it. Um, he got a little irritated in his voice. And it's like, and I, I basically was like, dude, like, I understand that you want to know what how the program is listed and, and how the program um, works, um, but I can't sit here and educate you in five minute conversation of something that I've been studying and working on. And at that point in time, I think it was it was like five or six years of doing it after grad school and after all these uh, um, certifications. Um, so long story short. Um, the guy was just running his mouth about like how, what he did in the past, back in the 1980s or seventies or whatever the hell he lifted, um, with his, with his college wrestling team. And I was like, listen, you know, I was a, a street coach at, at Westfield high school after a year in my program, they went from winning a couple of games to going to the state championship. Um, and that's again, the, the football coaches, I'm not saying it's all me. The football coaches did a phenomenal job. Some of the best football coaches I've been around at the high school level, um, you know, kicked ass and take names and that aspect of things. But, you know, I've got kids that are finished in the top five of Miss Softball and Mr. Baseball. There's so many facets of what we've done to be successful at. Um, and on top of that, you know, I've got all state, all American wrestlers. I've got all state, all American football players, um, you know, all state, all American baseball players in my program. And we've built them and put on 20, 30, 40 pounds of muscle. This guy didn't get it. He, he wanted to say that he knew what was going on. It was more him measuring his you know what contest instead of actually trying to get something done and be like hey you know let's get it let's let's get after this program secondly it's it's baseball coaches who think they're better than what they really are i think they know it all i'll mention all the time when somebody wants to um be an assistant coach for the bulls or wants to be a coach for the bulls and they'll say things like oh man this will be great i want to be a head coach well what's your head coaching experience nothing okay no big deal so what's your playing experience oh nothing not a big deal okay yeah yeah so at some point in time you actually have to be in the arena you actually have to be teaching educating and actually training people so accountability tip of the day don't be half-assed in your in your craft don't be half-assed in your profession if you're not busting your ass and actually trying to learn every single day and actually training people or actually working with clients you running your mouth on Twitter or you running your mouth on social media that you know what's going on or being very pompous and saying you can do what I do or do what this guy does. If you could do what I do or do what people that, that, that I that in my profession do, 
you'd already be doing it. But instead, you're sitting around eating potato chips, drinking your beers in front of the TV, running your mouth about the glory days when you beat Jimmy down the street who's bagging groceries. Larry's Trading, out.